All right, guys, so those of you that watched my video from yesterday, I had a slight incident at the gasoline pump. In other words, the pump popped out and it sprayed me, the whole front of me, with gas. I had this shirt on, one of my favorite shirts. I have washed it four times. It still smells like freaking gasoline. So that means one of my favorite shirts of all time from the Switchback Bar has got to go in the trash. So Andy, Carrie, if you're watching this, I'm going to need a new Switchback shirt because this one is going in the trash. I'm so bummed. Yes. That's a good sign. Um, testing one, two, three. Now I can't see myself on this screen. Um, I do not know if anything's working. Damn it. I, when I record, it seems to go blank again. So, um, damn it. All right, now I can see that again. All right, fingers crossed, we're good. Guys, it's been a morning. Um, my screen went blank on the back of my GoPro. I have updated it twice. It's working at the moment. I don't know if it's gonna work for the rest of the day. Um, fingers crossed. But you guys, give me a minute. Hi guys, welcome to day, I don't even know, 214, something like that. It's been a crazy day. So we're supposed to be out of here at seven. We were all ready to go. Then this GoPro quit working. I think the back's still not working. Hopefully, the camera itself is. So we're headed to, to go meet Toby Northern for um, like a brunch. And then we're headed to some town in Ohio I can't even pronounce. But the sun's out. There's no rain currently. That's all good. But man, it has been a freaking struggle this morning. Funny thing is we were all up, ready. I mean, like everything was great. And then I had camera issues and then um, everything wasn't great but we're all packed up everybody's getting bundled up because they think it's cold or something no idea what's up with that and uh yeah let's see how the rest of today goes we'll see you guys in a little bit all right here we go We've made it to Elizabethtown, to Denny's. See if we can find Toby Northern. Let's go find him. No. We made it. There he is. Toby Northern in the house. Go check out his YouTube channel. Hi. Tell him your YouTube channel because you've changed it. Yeah, it's uh, undecided. No, it's Toby in Adventures for right now. That, but that could change again? That it might just go back to Toby Northern. Okay. Stay tuned <laughs> for the updates. We'll let you know when we know. All right, we're here. Denny's, 
in the house. We're gonna eat, hang out with Toby. See you guys later. All right, lunch is over. Now we're gonna go see the world's largest pocket knife. Alright guys, so what this place is famous for, the world's largest pocket knife, Guinness certified. There it is, look at that thing, that's huge. Well, I just want to know whose pocket that fits in. That's all I want to know. You tell me whose pocket that fits in. Does it actually work? I think it has to, in order to be in the Guinness. All right, that's a, that's our little touristy attraction for Elizabethtown, and then we are headed to uh, our destination for the night. So anyway, when I'm done talking, we're gonna take a picture. Hey guys, so we're here at Red Hill Cutlery, which is the people that have the world record. Anyway, I got to talk to them, and uh, that's awesome. Uh, but just show you some of the store here. They got they got knives. And then they have a little like museum back here. I don't know how much you'll be able to see. This is kind of dark in here, but just all these old, old, old knives and all. Razors. Check out that scout knives. Those are cool. Damascus. If you are into knives, this is the place to come check out. Um, they got all these cool knives, um, and uh, it is uh, there. She is. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, was Kylie. <laughs> you didn't see her. She doesn't like to be seen. Anyway, I'm gonna finish off the the rest of the. Yes. What the fork? <laughs> Fork is that? Check these out. Those are cool. Let's see the old-fashioned razor, shaving razor. Yeah. Look at all this cool and stuff. And this is the hometown of Abraham Lincoln. Anyway, guys, birthplace. You guys place. need to come and check this place out. And uh, tell them the badger sent you. Hi, guys. So they have their own um, barbecue rubs. Check these out. How cool is that? Oh, look, check this out. There's how you can carry them. This place is super cool. If you get a chance, come check it out. Red Hill Cutlery here in Kentucky. Hi, the Kentucky visit is over. Another gas stop down. We are 186 miles from our hotel destination. So one more gas stop and then uh, we'll be there. It says we'll be there like 7.20. By the time we stop, I figure 7.45, 8 o'clock. Um, and then we'll get up in the morning and go meet everybody for lunch. So, so far, everything seems to be working out time and wise. We'll see.
last gas stop we have 89 miles left to where we're supposed to be staying tonight we'll see what happens when we get there but we're getting closer and it's hot today it is a warm one i saw a heat warning so we're pretty used to it not a big deal guys so we have hit Ohio we are in Waka 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 I have no idea how to pronounce it anyway um, but the beauty of our Holiday Inn Express is there's a Bob Evans like in the same parking lot in the same parking lot how do you beat that so we're gonna go um, get some food and uh, we got here about 740 ish so um, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna work and then we're gonna get up, we're gonna go to Michigan. I checked my bike, both bells are still on my bike because if you guys know the story, um, every time I've ridden sober into Michigan, I lost a rear wheel and I lost a stator. So um, hopefully both the bells will protect me and nothing will go wrong with silver in Michigan tomorrow. But anyway, time to eat. It's your Tennessee. All right, that's a wrap, are you full? It was everybody good. Everybody it was good food. I even had pie. I, yeah, the diet's just shot. Anyway, I had pie. Baby Badger had apple pie. Mama Badger didn't didn't I, partake. But I had banana nut bread, which she for had banana me nut is bread. basically like dessert. It's so, House, Bob. anyway. No, the, the W It is a whole house. house. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that is a wrap for today. We got we got to where we were meant to get and um, today was a successful day so we will see you tomorrow